What's up Trophy and welcome to my trophy review for Spirit of the North. This is an absolutely amazing looking third person adventure game. You have to play as an ordinary red fox whose story becomes entwined with the Guardian of the Northern Lights. There is no dialogue or combat in the game. It's also not possible to die in the game. The main focus of the game is to solve various environment puzzles. The gameplay reminds me a lot of Rhyme. The game has a platinum and comes with 25 offline trophies. You will unlock most of the trophies through story progression. The game is divided into chapters, so it's possible to replay a chapter after completing it. So we have no missable trophies. It's typical that a game like this has some collectibles, and yes, we have some collectible trophies. For an example, we have to awake all 28 shaman spirits. To awake the spirits, first you have to find the staff. Then you have to bring the staff to the dead body. But the collectibles are not hard at all because it's not an open world game. Some of the levels are big but linear. Finding these collectibles rewards you with new skins. Which is very nice because in most of the games collectibles are completely useless. It's also possible to check your collectible progress in the chapter select options. So the challenge part is solve all the puzzles and get through the game and get all the collectibles. So no skill is required to get through the game, the only thing you need is a brain. So I give this game a platinum difficulty 2 out of 10. I'm halfway done with the game and have spent a lot of time looking for the collectibles and I have played now 5 hours. So it's not a short game. So without the guide and doing all by yourself you definitely need over 10 hours. So I would say if you rush through the game and using a collectible guide the platinum time will be 7 to 10 hours. Maybe less if you're going for the second stack because this game has two stacks, one for Europe and one for North America. The release date is the 1st November and the game will only be available in the PlayStation Store. For now there is no physical release. The game will also come to PC, Xbox and Switch in the future. I have no information about the price but I guess it will be around $20. So in short you get an awesome looking story driven linear game with an awesome soundtrack and an easy platinum. 